Hello, uh, my name is Garrett Maxson. Today we're going to go through the next tutorial in step-by-step -step commands. Um, so we're going to start. I already have two documents already made. Actually, this, this is a document, um, my to-do list, which we'll, we'll bring up, um, and then a shortcut to an executable for Chrome. Um, this could be for Internet Explorer, Safari, anything you want to, and there's also um, better ways in um, advanced scripting to open up Internet Explorer or uh, a web browser. But for step-by-step, -step, we have to have a specific executable file that we open up, and in that case, you have to know what file systems are, and then you can go through and open this up, but I'll explain that in a second. I'm going to start by loading our user profile. Our tutorial profile is already loaded. I'm going to go to Tools, Add New Command. This command name is going to be open application and I will show you the different ways of you opening an application and what it could be used for so example of opening an application this is what we're going to say when we call it so we're going to train it open application this is our description of what our command is going to do this is our group we're going to leave this as a user defined default we're going to call this global. We can't call this as an application specific or a window specific because we're wanting to open it from the desktop from anywhere. We want this to open up when we say this at any point in time. So the command type is going to be step by step. And again, name editor is not necessary for this point. And we went over keystrokes in the last tutorial. And this one, we're actually going to go through open application. So when we're going to say open application, it's going to open up an application of our choosing. So at this point, we're going to insert and this is our target. What file, what executable, what shortcut is it that we're looking to open? And then we go into browse, and this is when we get our folder systems. This is from me finding Chrome before. We're gonna go back to the desktop, and these are the two I've made already is my to-do list and Chrome tutorial. Um, so we're gonna do my to-do list first. We're going to open up this target, this document, with no arguments. The arguments will be used later, and I'll show you how to use that. And we're going to start this in. This is the folder with which my uh, to-do list is. We're going to run this in a maximize window. I'm going to press OK. We're going to see that our open application is there. So when I turn on the microphone, after I press save, and I turn on the microphone, I say open application, this my to-do list is going to open. Open application. And we're going to see that my to-do list open. This is stuff that, oh, I'm going to turn the microphone off. This is information that I already put in here in order to show you for the next part of the internet browser. So we do have the command already made that opens up my open application and opens my to-do list. We can name that, up, that, that command anything that we want to. That's something, don't worry about that. That's a dragon, and then we will not save that. Um, so when we go back in to look at our command, we have open application here, and there we go. That's the my to-do list. Now we can call this open my to-do list, and it'll open my to-do list, but for this tutorial purposes, we're just calling it open application because that is the type of step that we're working on in this tutorial. So instead of this, we're gonna edit this. We're gonna go to um, Chrome. We're going to open Chrome just by itself, not with anything inside of it, just open Chrome. So we're going to show you this example now. Open application. And Chrome loaded up for us. So what Dragon's doing is it's finding this shortcut, and this shortcut points to an executable file within the Google Chrome folder installed on the computer and opens up Google Chrome to what is my default home address, google.com. That's without any arguments. So if we look back at my to-do list, we see that I have this URL here. I'm going to copy this, and this is actually leading to my HR for Kaiser Permanente's login screen. I'm going to close this, go back into our command browser, find our open application. I'm going to edit this part we had before where we've Figured the target is going to be chrome.exe, um, and then this actually was different from, from the beginning. When we first made this, we did it off the desktop, but now that it's used, it, it Dragon has switched around where the executable is, and this is the actual file location of where chrome.exe exists, which it learned from the shortcut here made on the desktop. Now, for our arguments, I'm going to copy 
that you are all you are all in that was in my to-do list and this is going to bring us to it's going to open up chrome and then it's going to insert this argument of this url and it's going to bring us to this website when we say open document again we're going to run it maximized so when i say open application my hr is going to open so might as well just name this open my hr open my hr and now when i say open my hr it's exactly what will happen open my hr and we went right to my HR screen, login screen for Kaiser Permanente. Not turn the microphone off. So those are the basic ways of using open application. Again, you can open up any application you have on your computer, just as long as you find the executable file, um, which is basically the start, not the installation file, but it's the start file. Start, open this program. And you can have you probably have to contact HR I mean IT in order to figure out where your file location is if you're not comfortable with it or me and I can help you out with that and so that's the end of the open application part of step-by-step -step tutorial my name is Garrett Maxson thank you for listening